Previously, I already discussed to you how to create the stair by component. But right now, I will. Our next topic will be stair by sketch. So, how you will do that? There are many ways of creating stair by sketch, but the two two methods I will teach you today. First, if you are creating a stair from here, going to the landing. Maybe you are in the ground floor plan or NGL. So I will create first a door, for example, a simple door here. So you already identify that this is the main entrance. So this is the porch. And uh, if you are going to create a stairs from here, okay, going to here, all you need to do is first the base level will, should be NGL why because if your base level is ground floor the Revit will calculate from ground floor to first floor but seems that uh, we are creating from NGL to ground floor level our base level should be NGL go to NGL just click NGL and Click stair, stair by compo, stair by sketch. Click. You will see run boundary and riser. The first method I'll teach you is using this uh, two method, the boundary and the riser. If I click the riser, click, then pick line, the edge of the landing. Just click this one. Click trim extends because this is extended up to here and then this one so click the boundary one two now click again the riser pick line offset 300 mm or depends to your thread width it already offset one two three four okay just delete this one i already i just accidentally created this one this two and then again riser it's already upset right pick line upset 300 one two three three riser created one remaining click here and you will see here desire number of riser four actual riser three so balance one two three so we already finished with that so we need to create the boundary just click the boundary click line Okay, boundary is color green and the riser is color black. Take note of that. Trim extend again. Trim extend. One, two, three. Trim extend multiple. Click. One, two, three. So we're done. Let's click check. If you see that. It seems like opposite way around so we go to NGL again and then just click this one click the stair and you will see the small arrow just click this one to change the orientation and if you are going to the 3d view it's just like this so I can delete this handrail no need for that so that is my stair by sketch the first method now since this is already ready for a sketch uh, uh, this is made by uh, stair by sketch if you click this one and edit type it's automatically you can change the category riser materials and stringer materials but in component you should convert it first before you change you can change the materials okay 
so I will close this one so I'm satisfied with this okay the other method is uh, the, the risk fact of creating this stair by sketch if you double click this part this part or the riser will will double click and it will overlap or, or create another riser for example I created this one and I offset and I click 300 again and accidentally it become an error because it's overlap later on sometimes uh, it become error so that is the risk factor of this type of uh, creating stair on the first method so I close this one okay. I close yes. so that is the first methodology the second methodology I will delete it again is going to NGL again the base level and going to stair stair by sketch save the project yes okay save it first so when it's done there is a run boundary and riser again I will click only the rise the run click from here to here okay I have this portion I go here modifying tools I click here and move it on the center or mid middle part I can delete this uh, I can copy one from here okay I can drag this one and then rotate place place first the 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 corner and then click the one you can you want to move click so it will become like this so delete this one delete first delete first and delete this part because only one path okay if you created two path definitely it will become error so i'll delete the both boundary the green one only one remaining i click i drag this one and copy from the center so it will become like this you can move it if uh, the landing is not precise no? click again okay all you need to do is trim extend one two one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's fine now upon observation just double check for risers created zero remaining and on the properties four riser created or desired number riser uh, create a uh, desired number of riser and actual riser is four so you can check on this so if i click check a stair by sketch is already created so that's simple so either of the two if you are comfortable to use the other methods fine and if you are comfortable by rotating and capping the stairs there's no problem as well